This is The Negro Ninja. And today I'm going to talk about another scene from Better Call Saul. You know that particular scene where Mike Oggs, who plays Trevor, from GTA has dialogue with Mike, played by Jonathan Banks, the old guy from Breaking Bad. And they have dialogue with each other. And you know how that ends. But this perfectly illustrates why you should not have dialogue with people, especially those you don't know. Let's listen. sandwich okay he asked him a question he got an answer what you packing oh no nigga i just got a sandwich okay he gets offended at michael's answer when mike is telling him the truth all right now let's let's look at how the scene is shot okay you see the placement of each character okay you got um the guy that plays trevor here you got Mike here, and then you got the other guy there. All right, and if you haven't noticed, you see that Mike is in the center. Okay, he's standing further away from these two in the front. Okay, much like how when you stand out, you know, you, you're the centerpiece. Okay, you all the way back there, they right here. Okay, that's um, symbolizing a person being out of touch with the peers. And you see that it forms a triangle, which, you know, he's at the top. Okay, showing you what level he's at. He's at the top. He's just some two average niggas. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Pimento. He laughs at the truth. No, I mean, what are you caring? You know, the piece, what's the make? Okay. Why is he so fixated on what type of gun this man has? It's not important. That is none of his business. Okay, just like when you're at work, it's none of their business. Why do they need to know what you're doing? Shouldn't y'all all be focused on what you're supposed to do? But there's an agenda behind why he's asking these questions. He want to size them up. All right. That was a cheese. They call it the caviar of the South. Like, you don't want to tell me what you're carrying, so be it. But you don't have to be a douche about it. Just like how they get defensive. They don't understand. They want to get... Uh, agitated and aggressive. Okay, and defensive. Okay. Because he didn't really quite understand why he's moving the way he's moving. Okay, so he's a douche because he, he can't comprehend it. All right, let's listen and allow um, Mike Ogg's character to reveal his treachery. All right. Now, the treachery is him bringing the other dude into the conversation. Okay, why did he not ask the dude what he had before he asked Mike? See, that's what people like to do. When you say something they can't comprehend or when you make a gesture that they can't relate to, they got to always drag other people in for validation. Okay, they want to feel better about themselves and also just to, you know, stick it to you because you're different. School of the Wilson Combat 1911. I got a Glock 22 Gen 3. And those are just the ones I'll tell you about. Mm. Mike's like, yeah, I'm not impressed. Okay. And he's not really being a dutch. He's just like, oh, okay. All right. But people always have to get, you know, overly aggressive and then they have to overcompensate, you know, by either bragging or trying to, you know, say more words than you or et cetera. Okay, it's always some aggressiveness when they cannot comprehend the person they want to size up so bad. All right. But there's a method to this dude's madness. That's what He's asking Michael these questions for a reason. Okay, and it's not just because he wants to know. I mean, what the hell? Really? I didn't unpack a gun. He's still stuck on it. 
All right. And here's the follow up part to this. All right. How about you give me and Man Mountain 750 each and send Uncle Fester there home? He's not carrying a gun. Okay, and that's, he spent that around. He wanted to know what type of gun he was carrying. He expected him to say it. But since he couldn't work the angle from the answer that he got, hmm, you know what? He don't have a gun. Okay, so he basically coons to the boss. All right. He coons to the boss. Remember that small talk is infiltration for spiritual warfare. Okay, it's grounds for spiritual warfare. Okay, people trying to ask you stuff to trip you up. People try to ask you stuff to stop you from going where you're about to go. It's useless. Is that true? You, you, didn't, you didn't bring a gun? I didn't think I'd need one. Okay, and he's sounding very insane to everybody else because he's on another level. Okay, he's 12 steps ahead of everybody. He knows why he does not need a gun, but they don't. So he's a cycle to them. And this nerd that asking he didn't have the gun, he represents authority and how stupid authority is on an everyday basis. You know, a lot of people in charge is retarded. Oftentimes they're dominant than the people that you're working around. Okay. And let's play this scene a little bit more before I say this. <laughs> it's a protection job. It's basic common sense that you need a gun to protect your employer. I mean, duh. Once again, he's doing what he did at the beginning and try to make him look stupid because he just can't comprehend anything. Why he got to get out aggressive? Why he trying to get the dude fired? And in real life, that would actually work because the people are smarter than the managers. Okay, the manager is stupid and he's looking for reasons to be more stupid. So what y'all got? We don't understand this person. Hear what you think about him. Okay, that's how they be. All right, just like how people go behind your back and cop block. Okay, come over there talking to you. And if y'all talking about chicks, he'll go and tell the chick that like you. Oh, he said that girl got a big butt. He like this, you know, and they'll just try to just ruin, um, throw dirt on your game or just spin around what you just said to make you look like a straight dog. Okay. However they can do it is how, you know, that's what they will do. Gun, I'll use one of his. Okay. Now, in real life, Michael would have might would have been up out of there because the manager retarded himself would have listened. Oh, you don't have a gun. Everybody else got one. Why don't you got one? And it would have been a done deal for him. But luckily, the director wants to see intelligence shine. But in real life, stupid managers or anybody else in charge represents a director that does not want to see the superior win. Okay, so this is essentially an intelligent person in the right situation. Okay, in the correct situation, because this is what is about to happen. Really? One of my guns? How do you picture that happening exactly? Well, I guess I'm going to take it from you. Okay, now, one would think, why is Mike doing that? You have to realize that he was put into this situation by the guy that's trying to be a coon. Master, he don't have his gun. I just got a gun, and you're supposed to be protected. That's why I made sure I got a nice shiny gun. I got two of them, too, Master. He ain't got one. Okay, so Mike is put in a situation where he has to defend himself, his honor, because the dude is trying to make him look stupid. Okay, and that's essentially how it always gets. It's going to always be some type of conflict when you are around people that is not on your level. Okay, they always attacking. That is just special. Ah, take. I ain't gonna take one of my guns. Come on, Billy Jackoff. Take my gun from me. Okay, he's getting more aggressive. Okay. <clears throat> they always trying to challenge your logic by making you look stupid and they get aggressive. Then when you're in a situation where you have to show them how stupid they are, then that's what happens. Let me see. Here. I'll make it easy for you. You can make it not 
so easy. See, he's being condescending to this guy. You got it. What the son of a oh. Okay, and Mike made him look stupid. All right, Mike showed him why his logic was not good. And dude tries to literally fight him. And Mike had to chop him in the throat and put him down. And the other dude just ran off. Okay, because he know he doesn't stack up. He's just like, you know what? But in real life, that's not how it would go. You know, Mike would have to whoop his A too. More than likely. All right. See, he's just retarded. The, 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 manner, the person that hired them just don't know anything. Okay, he's a nerd. He's very intelligent. Okay, like how people give you the illusion that they're smart, but he don't know nothing. He's clueless. Okay, he don't know Jack. Okay, now this could represent somebody trying to steal your blessings and you end up getting more than what they tried to take from you. Okay, or if they did somehow manage to steal something from you, you still get it back even more than what they stole. All right, they just made themselves look stupid with that whole situation, didn't accomplish nothing, stuff, get his guns thrown away. All right, now let's listen to the logic of why Mike decided not to bring the guns. All right. You can pay me now. So if those two idiots came along for the job, they would have made it more, you know, they probably would have got into a gunfight. They would have escalated it. Okay, because they don't know what the heck is going on. Okay, they ready to shoot. All right, it was too much ego and insecurity with those other two. Okay, while Mike did his research and he didn't really make a guess he just know how the game is. He know that nigga was going behind his boss's back. Okay, and if he would have got caught, he would have been executed. So he just knew not to bring a gun. All right. And another thing I want to say, okay, going back to how the um how the characters was placed in that scene where Mike took the gun from that dude. All right. These two are at the bottom. Mike is at the top. Okay, this can also just represent people that you know as a whole growing up too. 
you don't bring them along with you if you want everything to go smooth. And that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro. Hold up, hold up. And not only do you not bring them, okay, they just have to be defeated because they're your enemies anyway. Okay. As you move, they attack. And that's all I got to say. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.